Preparation for a project of this scale requires the entire ocean vet team. Biopsy kits, I've got. Controlling the samples and keeping an eye on contamination is the ocean vet marine biologist Choi Aming. Yeah, no, exactly. That's why we got Andrew Kirkpatrick is the team's underwater videographer. Oscar Dois is Neil's son and a seasoned whale spotter. And last but not least, Dylan Ward is the team's second boat captain. Sure. Uh, BCs and like Heading out in the winter months requires some serious planning. Safety, as always, comes first. Hi, Bowens, Bowens, Bowens. This is Bermuda Radio. A very good morning to you guys. Yeah, good morning, Craig. We have six persons on board and two other vessels heading out to Challenge Bank in pursuit of the mighty humpback whale. Over. Bowens, uh, Bermuda Radio. Yeah, we'll copy it. Six persons on board, uh, two support vessels. Best of luck of finding Moby Dick. You have a good day out there, mate. I'll be standing by should you require any assistance. <laughs> Humpback whales typically migrate 10,000 miles, 16,000 kilometers a year. They give birth in tropical waters during the winter, then migrate to polar waters in the summer to feed. It's during these massive migrations that the whales arrive in Bermuda. They seem to congregate on Challenger Bank, one of Bermuda's underwater seamounts. We're just heading over. We've got three whales at the surface. It looks like they are what we call player whales. They're interested in these three boats and they're surfacing. They're just going on a dive now, but we hope they're going to come up and interact with us under the water. The rib drops the team in the perfect position. Neil's incredible diving abilities enable him to hold his breath for much longer than most. As he passes through 50 feet, a playful humpback whale falls into view. We have just seen a lot of whales. We have on a, on a pod right now. We got Choi and Neil in the water swing with them. Looks like they're right below them right now. Um, it's just amazing. We've had so much good footage in such a short period of time. Just being able to uh, swim with these animals and get so close is absolutely amazing. It's been, a, it's been a great day. Gradually, the whales become more confident. More whales join the pod. Eventually, there are so many, it becomes impossible for the team to spot them all. Right here, Neil! Neil, right here! Neil! Neil! It's clearly not easy to spot 40 tons of whale passing over your head if you're already watching 40 tons of whale passing under your feet. The whales are now fully interacting with the team. They appear to be intrigued by Neil, Choi, and Kirkpatrick in the same way the team are intrigued by whales. There is undeniable intelligence. It's thought that humpback whales may share our kind of intelligence. They have specific brain cells previously thought to only exist in humans. The result is cognitive awareness. They are emotionally driven and highly social creatures. At one point, I had two whales suspended below me, just hanging there, just completely still. And I managed to swim down and probably get within 10 feet of one of them. And then as I got down to him, he turned and gave me a full profile, looked me in the eye, and swam away. Priceless. When you swim with these whales, you get a profound sense of respect and empathy for these creatures. It is, uh, it's just a privilege to be able to swim with them like that. Mm -hmm. 